how long is the object below? Now remember when we measure, we always have to make sure that the object starts at zero, as it does in this case, we can see, and then we go to the very end of the object. So in this case, the object stops right there, halfway in between five inches and six inches. Now when we split this up, we can see that it's five and then some. And the way that we find out how much it is, is you could think of this now as one whole inch. And when we break it apart, I could see that there are two equal parts and that this section is one of those two equal parts, which means that this object is five and one half inches long. Now you may have an object at some point, I'll draw just something here, that goes this length and stops there. Now I could see that this object that I just drew here, this line, is two inches, but it's in between two and three, so it's a little more. And with this object, it stops right there, and I could actually now see that it only takes up one out of four equal parts of the next inch. So that is two and one-fourth inches. Now when we're looking at the ruler here, if we look in between the numbers two and three, the second line in represents one-fourth of an inch, the tall line in the middle represents one-half of an inch, and the next tall line two over is three-fourths of an inch. It's easy to kind of draw uh, a rectangle in between those two inches and then to separate them equally to see how much uh, to see what fraction it is or you could remember those little tick marks on the ruler to help you.